So we Tell have, them who you are first. This is Jared from Hobby Town in Orland Park. <laughs> we have the um, aileron channel right here, so we'll reverse that. Um, once we go out to exit into the menu, we can go back to the reverse channel and that doesn't save. If I do it with both rudder and that, we go back to the reverse menu and it will save then. If I do it with just, with just rudder and go back to the reverse menu, that one also doesn't save. So we have to reverse either aileron and rudder at the same time or elevator and throttle at the same time in order to get the quadcopter, in order to get the radio to save the settings that we're trying to program. So we can't just reverse only one of the four channels. Okay. And what are you experiencing when you, when you do uh, hook it up with the, um, but this is, first of all, this is your... Uh, Correct, yeah, this is a separate radio system that we're using because the turning shoe one wasn't functioning properly with the reverse system on there. Okay. Um, but what'll happen is it'll just spin around on one axis in the yaw direction, mm -hmm. most likely because we're unable to get the proper channel reversing that we need within the radio system itself as previously demonstrated. Mm -hmm. And what about the KK2 board you were telling me about? Uh, the KK2, um, if it's not the radio system, that's the only other issue that I think it could be. Uh, so we'll go ahead and try a different KK2 and see if the, it's a faulty port. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I'm at Hobby Town, and this is what the man is saying. Mm -hmm. The specialist is saying. So, all right, uh, Hobby King, sign it off.